Let's just uh, get you an update now on the health of Prince Philip, the husband of Britain's Queen Elizabeth. You'll remember he's been treated in hospital in London for nearly two weeks. Buckingham Palace have released this statement. The Duke of Edinburgh was today transferred from King Edward Hospital to St Bartholomew's Hospital where doctors will continue to treat him for an infection as well as undertake testing and observation for a pre-existing heart condition. The Duke remains comfortable and is responding to treatment, but is expected to remain in hospital until at least uh, the week after next. Our correspondent John McManus is outside the hospital where the Duke of Edinburgh was being treated. Thanks very much, John, for joining us. Just bring us uh, up to date on the situation there with the Duke. Yes, that statement from Buckingham Palace, as you say, coming uh, in the last 45 minutes, confirming that the Duke's nearly two weeks stay at King Edward VII's hospital behind me is now over. But instead of going home or to Windsor Castle, he's in fact been taken to another hospital here in central London, St Bartholomew's, commonly known as St Bart's. And that's quite telling because St Bart's specialises in cardiac conditions, in treating cardiac conditions. And we know that in the past the Duke has had problems problems in that area. In 2011, he was treated for a blocked coronary artery and he's had to deal with other problems as well. The following year, he had a bladder infection. In 2013, he had exploratory surgery on his abdomen. And at Christmas in 2019, the Duke was here again where he spent four nights leaving on Christmas Eve after being treated uh, for an unknown ailment. The palace didn't say why he was here. They are usually very tight-lipped about the health of the Duke, who's 99 years old, but also all the members of the royal family. And they haven't given too much away this time either while the Duke's been here. Any information we have managed to glean has come from members of his own family with the Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, for example, saying that his grandfather was OK. Uh, and the Duke also had um, a visit from his son, the Prince of Wales, last weekend, who came here to the hospital for about half an hour. So the Duke of Edinburgh, 99 years old, transferred to another hospital across London, and the palace saying it's unlikely that he'll be out of hospital, certainly not by the end of this week anyway. Uh, yeah, John, he's uh, had lived quite a quiet life in, in recent years, bowing out of public life in 2017. We were just uh, showing our viewers there those images of the ambulance leaving uh, the hospital uh, earlier. Not often you see uh, a member of the royal family in, in an NHS ambulance. No, very unusual, and it was a little bit of a cloak and dagger operation as well to get the Duke out of King Edwards and on his way to St Bart's. We saw the, that ambulance leave, but we weren't quite sure who was in it at the time, and certainly the palace didn't give anything away until after the Duke was well on his way. They clearly didn't want too much media attention uh, on a 99-year-old, but the Duke has had several health problems, as I said, over the past decade. And when he was here at King Edwards in 2019, uh, at that point, Prince, uh, Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, told a member of the public, look, at that age, things don't often work as they're supposed to. So there is a bit of an understanding and acceptance that the Duke, who's going to be 100 in June, is perhaps not in the best of health. We will await further updates from Buckingham Palace, though.
Let's just uh, get you an update now on the health of Prince Philip, the husband of Britain's Queen Elizabeth. You'll remember he's been treated in hospital in London for nearly two weeks. Buckingham Palace have released this statement. The Duke of Edinburgh was today transferred from King Edward Hospital to St Bartholomew's Hospital, where doctors will continue to treat him for an infection as well as undertake testing and observation for a pre-existing heart condition. The Duke remains comfortable and is responding to treatment, but is expected to remain in hospital until at least uh, the week after next. Our correspondent John McManus is outside the hospital where the Duke of Edinburgh was being treated. Thanks very much, John, for joining us. Just bring us uh, up to date on the situation there with the Duke. Yes, that statement from Buckingham Palace, as you say, coming uh, in the last 45 minutes, confirming that the Duke's nearly two weeks stay at King Edward VII's hospital behind me is now over. But instead of going home or to Windsor Castle, he's in fact been taken to another hospital here in central London, St Bartholomew's, commonly known as St Bart's. And that's quite telling because St Bart's specialises in cardiac conditions, in treating cardiac conditions. And we know that in the past the Duke has had problems problems in that area. In 2011, he was treated for a blocked coronary artery and he's had to deal with other problems as well. The following year, he had a bladder infection. In 2013, he had exploratory surgery on his abdomen. And at Christmas in 2019, the Duke was here again where he spent four nights leaving on Christmas Eve after being treated uh, for an unknown ailment. The palace didn't say why he was here. They are usually very tight-lipped about the health of the Duke, who's 99 years old, but also all the members of the royal family. And they haven't given too much away this time either while the Duke's been here. Any information we have managed to glean has come from members of his own family, with the Duke of Cambridge, Prince William, for example, saying that his grandfather was OK. Uh, and the Duke also had um, a visit from his son, the Prince of Wales, last weekend, who came here to the hospital for about half an hour. So the Duke of Edinburgh, 99 years old, transferred to another hospital across London, and the palace saying it's unlikely that he'll be out of hospital, certainly not by the end of this week anyway. Uh, yeah, John, he's uh, had lived quite a quiet life in, in recent years, bowing out of public life in 2017. We we're just uh, showing our viewers there those images of the ambulance leaving uh, the hospital uh, earlier. Not often you see uh, a member of the royal family in, in an NHS ambulance. No, very unusual, and it was a little bit of a cloak and dagger operation as well to get the Duke out of King Edwards and on his way to St Bart's. We saw the, that ambulance leave, but we weren't quite sure who was in it at the time, and certainly the palace didn't give anything away until after the Duke was well on his way. They clearly didn't want too much media attention uh, on a 99-year-old, but the Duke has had several health problems, as I said, over the past decade. And when he was here at King Edwards in 2019, uh, at that point, Prince, uh, Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales, told a member of the public, look, at that age, things don't often work as they're supposed to. So there is a bit of an understanding and acceptance that the Duke, who's going to be 100 in June, is perhaps not in the best of health. We will await further updates from Buckingham Palace, though.
Uh, we're taking you to the King Edward VII Hospital in central London, where the Duke of Edinburgh uh, is leaving after 28 nights in hospital. And our reporter Helena Wilkinson is there. Helena, what can you tell us? Uh, yes, Victoria. Um, in the last couple of moments or so, um, a car has or is leaving right now from this hospital in central London where the Duke of Edinburgh has spent the last month. Now, we haven't seen him in the car, but there has been uh, a huge uh, police presence here just after 9 o'clock. Uh, police outriders arrived here at the hospital. There have been uh, police officers dotted around uh, at various corners on the streets in the uh, around the hospital. Um, what we saw in the last half an hour or so down the Mews, which is a rear entrance to the hospital, which is where the Prince Philip was taken in when he arrived here a month ago. There were some screens that were put up uh, to obscure the view because, as you uh, can well imagine, a huge number of photographers uh, waiting to see uh, if they can get a glimpse of Prince Philip leaving the hospital. Uh, he wasn't seen, as far as we know, um, beyond those screens, so whether he was taken into the car in a wheelchair, perhaps, that we don't know at this stage, and I think we can expect uh, a statement from the palace uh, at some stage uh, in the next hour or so. Um, the expectation is that it, if it is the Duke who has left uh, the hospital, he will be going back to Windsor Castle, which is where uh, he has been isolating with the Queen for the past year or so. But in the last uh, couple of minutes or so, we have seen a car leaving the hospital. Uh, I, I think we can assume it would have been the Duke of Edinburgh, given the increased police presence here at the hospital and those screens going up to uh, stop photographers getting a, a glimpse of Prince Philip, but we haven't had uh, any formal confirmation from the palace. I think if he does go back to Windsor Castle, which is the expectation, then I think once he arrives back there, uh, then I think perhaps we'll get some kind of confirmation from Buckingham Palace. But the Duke of Edinburgh um, has spent a month here at the hospital. You'll remember that he went in on the 16th of February. He originally went in as a precaution because he was feeling a little unwell, we were told. He was brought here to the hospital for tests. He was expected initially to stay for a couple of days, but that extended and he was then, we were told, told the following week, being treated for an infection. He then was transferred to a specialist NHS cardiac uh, hospital, which had an ex excellent cardiac uh, department, St Bartholomew's, and that's where uh, the Duke of Edinburgh had a successful uh, procedure to do with a pre-existing heart condition, uh, and he was also continued to be treated for an infection. Um, after that, he was brought back here to uh, the King Edward VII Hospital here in central London. Again, we were told he was only going to be staying for a number of days, but that um, extended somewhat. Uh, but we now, in the last uh, couple of minutes or so, understand that the Duke of Edinburgh has left uh, King Edward VII Hospital here in central London after spending a month here, expected to go back to Windsor Castle, uh, where the Queen is, where they have been isolating for the past year. But again, just to stress, we haven't had official confirmation from uh, the palace yet. Okay, thank you very much, Helena. Let's talk to our Royal Correspondent, Nicholas Witchell. So we haven't actually seen him in the car leaving, but would one assume that that was him leaving it and his treatment has been successful? I think we can assume that that was him. It has not, as Helena has been saying, it has not been confirmed by Buckingham Palace and I'm sure it will be half an hour or so uh, until they get him safely back to Windsor Castle before they confirm that. But all the evidence of the special escort, bikers, police outriders, the royal vehicles, the fact that a screen was put up and you could just see the top of a head rather slowly going across across um, uh, into one of those vehicles which then uh, departed from the hospital. Uh, and yes, I think it is reassuring news. He is clearly well enough now after 28 nights in hospital since his admission on the 16th of February, as Helena was saying, went in originally feeling unwell on the advice of his doctors. Uh, four nights, of course, at Bart's Hospital for this unspecified surgical procedure, uh, treatment for an unspecified pre-existing heart condition. We know no more than that, other than that at one stage he was said to be suffering from an infection. Whatever it is uh, that uh, has occurred would evidently appear to have been successful, and he is, uh, we think, 
not confirmed, but we think now on his way back to Windsor, where in just about 12 weeks he will celebrate his 100th birthday. That's right, in June. And the Queen has not seen him face-to-face -face for a month. Prince Charles was the only visitor. That's right, yeah, um, and the Queen has carried on. And I think the important thing is that at no stage has there been any sense of serious concern or alarm. There will have been concern because he is so close to his 100th birthday and clearly somebody that age going into hospital, that will always be a matter of concern. But th there has never been any outward sign of, of sharp concern of concern that this might uh, uh, result in a decline in, in his health, a serious decline. We're just um, showing the pictures of So, there, yes, uh, as we... What we think is the Duke of Edinburgh... As we uh, have been saying, this we think is the car uh, into which the Duke of Edinburgh stepped uh, from the hospital just a few moments ago, and one must assume that uh, that vehicle is now on its way to Windsor, uh, to Windsor Castle, where the Queen has been throughout these 28 days since he was first admitted on, on, as I was saying, the 16th of February. There you just glimpse of one of the motorcycle outriders.